House and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis declaring that supporting Ukraine is not in the vital interest of the U.S., instead calling the Russian invasion a territorial dispute. The White House responding tonight. God damn, Ron DeSantis want to beat Trump so bad, bro. Even some Republicans on the Hill with tough words for DeSantis on his foreign policy experience. Here's Rachel Scott. Tonight, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is likely running for president, declared protecting Ukraine against Russia is not in the vital national interest of the U.S. DeSantis saying, while the U.S. has many vital national interests, becoming further entangled in a territorial dispute between Ukraine and Russia is not one of them. He adds the Biden administration's virtual blank check for as long as it takes distracts from our country's most pressing challenges. The White House today firing back. If we were just to lay back and let Putin. Thank you for someone who's younger but disabled. Social Security, SSI, SSDI benefits is not even close to being enough to live on. We got an 8% COLA increase uh, this year, but it was only about $140 increase for me. I mean, what do you mean? Look at that. There you go. Wow, you're caking in it, dude. You're fucking caked up. Yeah, if you want to understand truly that capitalism is a failure of a fucking system, look no further than uh, people who are no longer productive, okay? People who are not seen as productive laborers, the disabled, uh, and, and also old people, okay? The moment that you are no longer a productive laborer or have the capacity to be a productive laborer is the moment that uh, the government will literally try to get you to quietly die in a corner. That's it. Fucking crazy. A lot of disabled people like me had to do sex work because SSI is not enough money. Anyway, let's watch. Take Ukraine, which, make no mistake, he hasn't pulled away from it. If we just lay back and let that happen, where does it stop? The sharpest critics of DeSantis's comments, his fellow Republicans. I don't know, border the last Poland. thing we need is, is a bully with nuclear weapons feeling like he's emboldened and that there's... It's pretty funny to make this take because this is like another instance where the Republican Party is at odds with its base, right? To its base, it seems like this is a fucking silly thing. Like, who the fuck gives a shit about Ukraine or Russia, right? Like, why are we spending so much money there? But to the Republican Party itself, they're like, are you fucking kidding me? Of course, this is incredible. Like, this is an opportunity to dump all of the fucking weapons into a, a new territory where we're not even sending actual American military members into like the arms sales. It's, it's gigantic. You think it's a huge waste of money as an American citizen, but what you fail to recognize is that's what the American government is there for. The American government is there to dump a shitload of weapons that we bought that we are going to consistently keep buying uh, from the military industrial complex. And those weapons got to go somewhere. Oh no, our arms, our arsenal is, is withering away because we had to give it all to the Ukrainians. So now we have to buy more weapons. Now we have to do more R&D. The Department of Defense is nothing but a jobs program. The unfortunate reality is that the American jobs program of the DOD happens to be one that uh, deals in death and destruction. There's obviously a secondary, or maybe if you ask Lenin, a primary reason for that existence, of course, because imperialism is a necessity under a global capitalist uh, system of organization. You have to consistently find new places or uh, consistently stop uh, labor prices from going up. You have to consistently find a new group of permanent underclass uh, members that you can exploit. Uh, anyway. There's nobody keeping them in check. Senator John Cornyn saying he was disturbed by the DeSantis statement. Others implying the Florida governor is out of his depth. Obviously, he's, he's busy running a big state, but if he's interested in the bigger states, he probably he probably needs to get boned up on it. Well, I don't know what he's trying to do or what the goal is. Obviously, he doesn't deal with foreign policy every day as governor. But DeSantis is staking out a similar position as his potential top rival, former President Donald Trump, who has even suggested letting Russia take over parts of Ukraine. Shortly after, like, this is the funniest take. Like, this take is literally the threat to the entire bipartisan consensus surrounding Ukraine 
which is just another vehicle to unload a shitload of funds in the military industrial complex. This does not mean that the Ukrainian right to emancipation is just. Of course it is. Okay. But make no mistake. America does not make moves out of the kindness of its fucking heart. There has never been a reason for the United States of America to ever act out in a humanitarian effort. If America would behave in a humanitarian way, it would not be death dealing globally. Okay. It's just war profiteering. Please. After I win the presidency, I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. It'll take 24 hours. David, former President Donald Trump has not provided any further details on how he would broker a deal to end the war in Ukraine or specifically what parts of the country he believes Russia should be allowed to take over. David. Rachel Scott tonight. Rachel, thank you. Yeah, and Ron DeSantis is trying to beat Trump so fucking bad, dude. Liberal City moves closer to massive payments to black residents. What?